Hey guys, this is Ray Catania with Infinity Personal Training, and today I'm here with Kelsey, one of our clients, and we're just going to discuss her experience um, with some of the new testing that we rolled out at our studio. So, um, why don't you just, I guess, expand or tell us, uh, like, what the experience was like and okay. what we addressed um, after the initial meeting? Okay. Um, so I had the max function test done in the SpectraCell micronutrient lab. And so the max function was just a cheek swab, which was super easy. I did it myself and sent it in the mail, no problem. And for the SpectraCell, I had to go to any lab test now um, and get uh, some blood taken. But that was also really easy. You can walk in, don't have to make an appointment, and it takes all of 10 minutes. Um, and, you know they were able to actually find a vein quickly so I was impressed <laughs> and so we did this because I had been struggling with anxiety and depression and like extreme fatigue just wanting to sleep non-stop all the time and um, so Ray recommended these tests and he was able to explain the findings to me and we found that like one of the things I was most interested in was the, the MTHFR mutation which I knew already had a, a link to depression. And so I did have that, but Ray was able to explain that it actually has more to do with my folate levels and I'm like predisposed to low folate and I don't um, methylate as well. <laughs> yeah, so what she's saying is basically the, she did a, so uh, Kelsey did a genetic test and then she also did a uh, blood serum uh, micronutrient test uh, through SpectraCell Labs. And the test came back on the, the micronutrient test, she was low in a couple of things, specifically vitamin D was very low, which is common. Um, and then in the genetic test, the genetic test will tell you uh, genetic mutations that you have that may leave you predisposed. And in this case, uh, there's a gene called MTHFR, which she's already explained, uh, affects folate levels. It actually affects how you process folate. So Kelsey, in this case, came, it came back on, it tells you in the report, um, she'll have like a 40 to, 40 to 60% decrease in the amount of folate she actually uh, processes versus the, the normal person. So she'll have symptoms, right? And, she may, and the micronutrient test also showed folate levels being uh, borderline as well, right? Yes. But let's, I mean, the most important thing here is like, how did you feel before? And then, and of course, like, I want everyone listening to know, like, we're not diagnosing anything. This is strictly um, micronutrient recommendations. Um, and it was simple things that we recommended her to take uh, based on levels being low, right? So we, it's not like we're diagnosing um, anxiety or anything like that, or, or uh, we're not making claims on, on curing it, but how did you feel before um, taking some of the supplements and like, how do you feel now? So before I wasn't taking any supplements or any medication or anything, and I just felt just like crap, to put it simply, just horrible. And I had no motivation to wake up in the mornings or to come work out. And if I did work out, I was still just exhausted all the time. And then after looking at the test and getting on a few different supplements, um, I feel like a different person. I feel so much better in general every day. I have more energy. When my alarm goes off in the morning, I can actually get up out of bed and feel like a person who's able to do people things. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm more excited to come to workouts. I have more energy to get through workouts and I just feel so, so much better. Yeah, and, and just to point out, uh, vitamin D was the big one mm -hmm. and then folate as well. But, uh, and these are simple things. I mean, Kelsey, we literally recommended her getting on one of our uh, multivitamins that's very comprehensive um, as well as folate d3 was a no-brainer um, and then a couple other things that she was borderline in um, that affect uh, like ALA and carnitine was another one um, and both those things actually affect fat metabolism so like just a combination of those basic things uh, helped her to feel better but not only that the other thing I want to be clear on too is we've already discussed like uh, food options and things like that, things she can eat to boost those things naturally besides taking the supplements because the, the long-term plan isn't for anyone to stay on supplements, but it's to actually get her feeling better first and then uh, long-term maybe, you know, through dietary changes, she can actually still feel better without supplementing as much. Um, so awesome. Anything else you want to add or? 
about the whole experience in general? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. It's been okay. great. Ray has been super supportive. Um, he's always willing to meet with me and take time to actually figure out what's going on. And I'm just very thankful. So if you're looking for a customized solution to something maybe you've been struggling with for a long time and haven't found a solution for, and you're interested in some of these things like the genetic testing and other tests we've run here at Affinity Personal Training, feel free to contact us at personaltrainingallen.com.